How's life treating you? I'm Russ Rovo, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. Uh, while we were away, I went through this little uh, garden festival here and found the rest of those Emperor Tachyon statues and actually went through his little gauntlet of death or destruction or whatever it was. It was super easy. I cleared it, no problem, and got me something new. These nice, awesome little charge boots. So let me, let me show you without actually flying off the map here. Whoosh, charge. Charge boots. So now I can do that. And they work pretty good. Gotta be careful with them though, you will go flying off the stage. But without further ado, I think we're off to find we're off to see the supercomputer iris in the something something system in the whatever galaxy. Okay. Creo Comet, the Iris supercomputer is the most ancient and powerful computer in the galaxy. Who created it? And why have this, has it been so long forgotten? But Iris continues to be used as a form of intergalactic encyclopedia and oracle. Some believe that the sheer constitutional power and massive storage of this super, super computational power of this supercomputer give it the eerie ability to predict future events. Good God. They really, they really, they went heavy with the text in this one. Anyway, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Uh, I'm when, by the time you see this, I'm not sure what day it will be, but currently it is... What is this, Sunday now? Oh, God. The Iris Supercomputer, that actually looks really cool. Like that comment, that looks super cool. Those pirate ships are blocking our path to Iris. We must find a way to sneak through. Making snow angels. I don't know where the music is. Where is that? Oh, oh, oh I almost got got on that one. That music is the, just the best. I freaking love that music. It's pirate fighting time, apparently. Again. All right, Chief. Let's see. What can we do you? Uh, during the festival, I also got some more rare titanium that I used to upgrade one of my we weapons. Oh, I've already got There's that no one. way a Lombax could ever sneak by me. I know how they fit me. I'm a certified Lombax Whisperer. Just like that guy on the holiday program who can speak to the fossil mites and such. Except uh, more attractive, of course. Hmm. Perhaps it is time to try out our new hollow pirate disguise. All right. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, I'm just going to go to gadgets then. It's not going to automatically do it. Uh, but a but a swing shot, helipod, gelinator, pi. Ah, hollow. <laughs> that's that's cute. Look at it. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Wish it was ready. Uh, I wish it was that easy to get dressed for a park. <laughs> for the for the larping thing I do. Oh my God, and he's got the little hobble with his one little pirate leg. I'm so tempted to press square to see if my wrench will come out. But I just know I'll get immediately annihilated. Yarmy, ho yarmy, mateys! Hey, hey! Scratch your butt! Hey, where's the treasure? <laughs> yeah, I messed it up. I knew it. I pressed square. Wait, I want to see how stupid they are. It literally looks like a little pirate. The icon is a little pirate. That's great. Alright, fellas, how stupid are you? Pretty stupid! <laughs> ah, that's great. Alright, I'll, I'll do a little bit of uh, fast forwarding to when we can get to the actual door.
Okay, and we're back. Hmm. Ye look like a pirate, but can you dance the jig like one? Commence the jiggling! <laughs> oh, those of you who get that joke, you're the best. <laughs> to do a pirate jig, follow the moves of the backup dancers. Press left, right, or up with both to the move L back for O God. Do you right! Do you left! Do you right! To uh -huh. the sky! Obi-Lan! No land lover could match that! Nice. <laughs> Now I go be medical. medical move up the pirate ladder. Okay, I can't reach no that. No medical, no dental. The 401k. Meanwhile. Okay. So I guess you have to resist the temptation to get all the bolts Attention. that you're looking at. Dang, it really tempts you. March against the draft is in a fortnight. If he be interested, sign up at the meeting. The meet good news is it looks like this is the dead end. So, let's pick a really good weapon to start out with, because as soon as I come out of this, they are gonna give me some trouble. How about this guy? Beautiful. I'm still trying to upgrade the uh, Predator Launcher to V5. Got him. Oh, that's right! That was the upgrade I bought. Um, the Predator Launcher can now lock on with two missiles, up, up to two missiles on each target, instead of just one now. So that's awesome. I've been trying things a little bit differently. Okay, I already bought that on me. Um, and it also gives me health. That's so cheap. Gosh. So the health vendor, the armor vendors do that the same as the weapon vendors. But yeah, I've been trying to do these uploads um, before I go to work. So I actually have them. Uh, well, that's not very different because that's the way I used to do it. So that's we're doing it again that way. It worked out before. God dang. Can you hit it? Uh, so yeah, I got work in like two hours. <laughs> I haven't actually gotten any days off since the last time I did a live stream. I've, I've been, um, I had one day off. It was work five, one day off, and then work five. Dang. Okay, so, is it Pirate Hollow Guys time again? Maybe I was supposed to show up as the pirate to begin with. Oh, yep, yep. I bet I was supposed to show up as the pirate ratchet before the elevator made it to the top. Dang, I can't even... Take me back down! I'm, I'm doomed. Okay, he's stuck over there for some reason. That's awesome. Ah! Jesus. It didn't take me back down. Come on. Oh my god. Well, I had to take a lot of hits, but apparently I got him to destroy the explosive barrels behind him. And he's done now. But we're gonna need a, a leech bomb against these guys to get our health back. There we go. Okay, that's all that. Predator launcher B5. <laughs> Congratulations, you have upgraded to the Raptor launcher. 
Raptor missiles discharge globs of pyrocytic concentrate that set fire to anything they touch. Nice. I think I could get to like that. Should I do pirate thingy again? Nope, looks like we got a grind there. Will Rusty Pete please report to the armory? I need me cannonballs buff to a high shine. Suspicious. Is that V5 yet? V5. Shock Ravager. Get whipped. <laughs> it's so weak. But it's super effective. Ooh! They have projectiles. That changes things a bit. Uh, anything else that's... that's a little bit more nano swarmers could do? Ah, oh, that'll never be far enough. No, it does. It reaches them. Nice. Oh, got me. Nighty night. It lagged a little bit there. Nope, I was worried about that. Mm, there's this little lip, like a little turn, just a tiny little, just a tiny little turn. Oh no! Okay, and we're back. This time, let's not try to go flying off the edge. There we go. Oh, uh, I probably could've used the uh, Pirate Disguise again. I probably should have. Okay, um... Mr. Zircon, can you help out? See a nano swarmer? I put a nano swarmer down. Watch this. Want some more? Woo! Okay, apparently they got him. That's good. That's good enough for me. Sweet. I can the turret. I figured I could. Okay, not much to do there. <laughs> that one's just in a particular spot. Oh! There's a good reason for the turret. Oh, that's messed up. I need to a lot of damage. Yes! I love that. It'll allow me to, uh, it'll, it will allow me to go back to the tournament on Planet Mukau if my weapons are nice and upgraded. Tell you which way to go. Oh boy, pirates, pirate shanties. Don't we all just love pirate shanties? Okay, so. And they're looking away. I don't think I made it in time. I think one of them turned around. Yeah, he's seen me. Don't do it, fellas. I'm a pirate like you. I'm a pirate like you. Oh, you guys suck. Good thing none of them have projectile weapons. I guarantee you, though, you can make it up there without being seen. Like, um, I bet you there's a skill achievement for making it through this entire thing without being seen by one of them. Sorry, I have to keep going back and doing this. I'm a pirate again. Goofy goofball pirate. I'm a goofy goofer. Goofy goober. Only a true pirate may pass. Dance the jig uh, and prove your worth. Gotta dance a jig again. 
To your left, to the sky. Right. To your left, to the sky. To your right, to the sky. Shake your foot, shake your foot. Holy land. There we go. No land lover could match. I should be married. Yes. Oh, okay. You can say. You can. Uh, you can emote. <laughs> Got him. I know it's tedious, but I just love knowing that it's going to upgrade and get more powerful. Two left. Let's let him group up a little bit. There you go. Look at all that experience it gets. It gets good experience. That's the last one. That's got to go be Yes! I can't control it with the 6-axis, but it's still cool to have a tornado on the field. On to me. Oh, that guy's powerful. Please don't hit me. Oh, you suck. Right when I said that. I'm like, please don't hit me, hits me immediately. Immediately, immediately commences the butt whooping. Oh, what? What's down here? He's looking at something. I'm gonna get glitched into a wall if I don't quit screwing around. Attention, lads! Use of the Irish supercomputer Whoa. is restricted to educational purposes only. Do not download games, I'm music, or right. alternative no cinema without me approval. Without getting past. Seamus Mitsuki Bridges. Let's. I wanted to hear his intro. Well, that's too easy. You can just sit back. You can just sit back here and let him fight himself. I used the slime, uh, I used the uh, slime guys. I didn't even know I switched back to that one. I was trying to do the other thing. I was trying to use the Ravenger, like, that, that disc launcher. This one's already upgraded, like, fully. We want to use this guy, V3 Buzz Blades. We've made it to the base camp. All right, Chief. What can we do you for? Full upgrade weapons, what have I got? Total rare titanium, 3,000, heck yeah. This one just needs that, and it's done. So that's complete. And then, nano swarmers, I use those a lot, so yeah, time to upgrade those. Done and done. What do we look like? A bunch of chumps? Okay, that's it for that. Man, these newer weapons are expensive Lunch. in rare titanium for upgrades. Be on the lookout for one mangy lumbax in a cheap hollow pirate disguise. I don't care if it's dead or alive, so long as it ain't breathing. <laughs> okay, that I was their hint to... Oh. I think the disguise will fool them this time, Ratchet. Oh, you don't? Okay. Crud. Well, there's two cannons there. How am I supposed to get past them? Oh, jeez. Psych! Woo! How am I? What? Just keep running. Whoa! Can't fire up this high. Oh, they can fire up this high. Whoa. Whoa. I'm probably going to get hit doing this. 
And that's gonna be it for old Ratchet. Oh my goodness. That guy's coming straight at me. Oh my god. Back off! Not the corner! Oh <laughs> god dang it. There's gotta be a way to make it past those cannons that's better than that. Alright, Chief. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I'm sure I have some sort of Give me just a second. I need a sniper rifle, really. There we go. Predator launcher does good. Ah, dang it. Okay. Okay, so the predator launcher against the cannons. What? Oh, he's immune to it. I gotta hit their feet or something? God dang. I mean, I do... It is shields. It's it's shields. They have shields. Okay, fair enough. Come on, get in, the, get in the cannon. Get in the cannon. There we go. I can use this cannon to destroy that cannon. Or at least the guy on it. Can I switch back to the Predator launcher? I think he's still on that thing. Yep, he is. Does that take care of him? I thought I was supposed to use a sniper rifle. But apparently not. I just... I can't believe I just tried to run it the first time. Jeez, uh, that that really seems like the only way to do that. There might be some people that put out in the comment section like, "Thank you, I never made it past that part." Now you know how, because that was kind of tough for me to actually figure out. And then they put this guy like right in frickin' front of you. No, I don't want to waste the blue baton for that. Just get, don't get caught in a corner. I'm significantly faster than him, so I should be able to do this. Yes. That's good experience for that weapon. A little bit of a challenge in this one. I like it. It's got me it's got me sitting up straight. I like sat up straight. I'm like, God dang. Those are dead ends. Oh, I can't miss one crate. Not knowing that I saw it. Give me that. I tried to hit him there, right there. Boss fight! Oh god, it's this guy again. Do you have anything else I can hide behind? Nope, apparently not. He's taking a lot of damage, though. Oh! That's bad. That's very bad. What else I got? Uh, not those. Uh, this one maybe? Yeah. I shall let you live, little idiot. Psych! Mr. Zircon is only to kill. Nice. I don't think I can jump that gap. There, there goes our way shot? across. There must be another way around. 
I thought about I thought about drawing something inappropriate, but <laughs> who am I, Markiplier? <laughs> uh, draw something incredibly phallic. <laughs> uh, don't do that. <laughs> okay. Here, and then we do, uh... Ah, oh, you got me. Oh! I gotta stop using the V5 weapons, because they're already fully upgraded. Let me switch to a different one real quick. Can you come, can you go in here? No, no, okay. The, those... It's like a, a mental illusion. It's messing with my brain. I keep thinking I can go in there. Not gonna lie, the graphics on this game are really good, but for some reason, I keep thinking I'm missing stuff. Okay, we got some more rare titanium now. Which weapon do you want to upgrade? Buzz blades. Mm, pardon me. Done and done. I think that's all I can afford. No, nope, no. Nope. Uh, don't have enough for that one. Let's do. Wait, no, that's that's already fully upgraded. Complete, complete, complete. I'm, I'm, I'm we're getting pretty close to fully upgraded on everything. Sharder, nano nanoswarmers. Bada bing, bada boom. That's all I got for that one. It's funny, I use the Nano Swarmer so often, you would think that... Oh. You would think that, um... No, he's already electrified. He's immune to that rust. Stop. Okay. Uh... This guy. Haha. <laughs> What's the matter, fella? You can't make it up the hill? Oh, sad shame to be you. Blazing. Attention, lads! Tonight's entertainment has been brought to you by the letter R. <laughs> Sorry, I could resist. Oh dang it! Okay, predator launcher again. I was still holding the circle button just in case anybody else decided to get on that freaking thing. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's a pretty tough planet, all things considered. Let's see. Okay, doorkeeper, uh-huh, gotta be a pirate for that. Did I finally get everything? Are we gonna lag out? The doorkeeper's the worst. He's really stupid. <laughs> I could transform right in front of him and he'll talk to me. <laughs> hmm. Ye look like a pirate. But can you dance the jig like one? I think I also might have just found an exploit. It looked like my health refilled whenever I transformed into a pirate. Have... So I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to check to that out. To the sky! To your left! To the sky! Shake your booty! To the sky! To the sky! Shake your booty! Oh, no landlubber could match that. Passion. 
I just want to point out that uh, so far, I have been literally perfect at pirate dancing. I, I just want to point that out. Woo! Oh. Yeah, go ahead and congratulate yourself. You're about to go down, fool. Hold up. Ooh, the nano disruptor. No! It must be fully charged. Good god, the damage it does is insane. <laughs> hey, we made it! Let's do the slow walk. Slow, dramatic walk. Is this a slow? There so, we go. this is the Iris supercomputer. How do you turn this thing on? It appears to have been damaged by space pirates. Perhaps I can repair its CPU. What can you tell me about the dimension here? The dimensionator, created by the Lombax architects of Precus Minor. Its creation marked the turning point in the Great War. So, how does it work? Existence is divided into infinite dimensions. The Dimensionator opens a portal to these worlds. The Lombaxes constructed a device in order to exile the Kragmites. Then how did Tachyon survive? Percival Tachyon, discovered by Lombax Trillium Miners eons after the war, frozen in an egg on this very planet, and raised on Fastum. Wait, Tachyon was raised by Lombaxes? Affirmative. But when he learned of his true origins, he set out to bring back the Kragmites. So where's the Dimensionator now? An explorer named Max Apogee relocated it to Kershu City. Our cells functioning at 8% capacity. 8% capacity. No! Wait! Where did the Lombaxes go? Why did they leave me behind? Thank you for visiting the Iris. Please do not forget to validate. We need to get to Kirchhoff City. If we can get our hands on the Dimensionator... A wormhole device is too dangerous for anyone to possess. Now please, the Zoni say Talwin is in trouble. We need to get to Zordum. You know, Clank, just once, I wish you'd listen to your real friends instead of your imaginary ones. Cool. Coordinates acquired for Zordum Prison. Dang, okay. Well, I hope I wasn't supposed to go through whatever that was, because that's closing up. Okay. And of course I can speak to Iris, but... Yeah, that is all the time and more I have left for this episode. I hope you all enjoy it. If you did, let me know in the comments section below. Likes always appreciated, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.